Back to that breaking news this morning out of Baltimore, Maryland, a major bridge in the city collapsing overnight after it was hit by a ship. Well, we know a state of emergency has been declared and there's a massive search effort underway now to find people who are believed to be in the water. Again, these developments coming in minute by minute. We want to get straight to NBC5, Sandra Torres, who's following the breaking developments from our control center. She joins us live right now. And Sandra, what can you tell us? Well, JC and Michelle, the main focus right now is on the search and rescue operation. The chief of the Baltimore Fire Department says that at this time, they are searching for at least seven people, all believed to be in the water. But again, that number is fluid. It could change. So far, they have rescued two people who were on the surface when emergency crews arrived on the scene. We were able to remove uh, two people from the water. One individual refused service and refused transport. Essentially, that person was not injured. However, there was another individual that's been transported to a local trauma center that is in very serious condition. And cameras captured the dramatic collapse. This happened around 1.30, 1.40 a.m. Baltimore time after a large cargo ship crashed into a main support beam of the Francis Scott Key Bridge. The entire structure broke apart in several locations and the ship, it caught on fire. There were multiple vehicles on the bridge at the time of the collapse, including a tractor trailer. And Baltimore officials say that they have multiple agencies involved, uh, local and state agencies collaborating all these efforts, and they're facing many challenges. We are still very much in an active search and rescue posture at this point, and we will continue to be for some time. We have a large area that we have to search. This includes on the surface of the water, subsurface, as well as on the deck of the ship itself. So let's talk about the Key Bridge. This is a major entryway to an American port. It's used by more than 11 million people every single year. And it carried the Baltimore Beltway Interstate 695 over the Patapsco River. It is more than a mile long and its main section spans 1,200 feet. This bridge was built in 1977. Now in terms of how or why this happened, WBAL, our NBC affiliate in Baltimore reports, the cargo ship had just left its port about 30 minutes before before the crash, the Baltimore police chief said at this time there's no indication this was intentional and that federal agencies are now investigating. We'll have an update in about 30 minutes, JC. Sandra, thank you so much. And of course, do stay here with NBC5 as this story develops. We are working with their sister station out there. We'll bring you those updates as they come in throughout the morning. In the meantime, you can find live updates at NBCChicago.com and on the NBC Chicago app.